morning. Good morning. This is officially Monday the 10th, the 10th of June. Um, my video didn't go up yesterday because I was just spending some time with my daughter. I did video something and it's a little bit different. It's um, listening to our conversation about some of our um, crafting projects that we're making. Um, and there is, unfortunately, a couple of sections. I think I hadn't got the camera in the right place, but you can half like half see what we're trying to show. And I hope that's OK, because I wanted to I had intended to vlog yesterday, but my daughter was here and we just enjoyed just sitting down, being quiet and getting all that stuff out and talking about that. And I always want to be a mum, no matter how old my children are. They're all in their 30s now. That I'm never too busy for them. And it is precious time, very precious time. So that's what Sunday was. So it's that rather than no vlogging. So I hope you enjoy what is coming. Oh. So I started um, this little embroidery. I've got it off in you know, this magazine. Yes. What do you think? I love it. I've been watching um, Lily and the Bee, and she was doing some embroidery. And then I went to, I think it was Tesco's, and I just happened to be looking um, at the quilting magazines and saw this. And I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go. So, yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleased that I can hopefully yeah, do a little bit more tomorrow. Just yeah. do a little bit each day, or a little bit at a time. Yeah. Try not to um, put too much pressure on yourself. Mm. Right, okay, so I've written this list down. Um, so it's going to be interesting. That's all the yarn yeah. that's left over from the Eastern Jewels. Yeah. Okay, so I've written this list down. As soon as I do this, I'm going to find like the weighing scales, but I think it's just, just a guide, isn't it, as to um, how much it's, it's, it's going to be left over. So I need to just work out what um, um, what's what's left because yeah. I did like that post. Not much of that one. Not the tea. Well, not the tea over. Okay. Storm blue. There's hardly. And there's hot. Right. Okay. So they might not be an accurate measurement. Okay. So storm blue. Okay. It's saying two grams. Buttermilk, 12 grams. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. We might even, between the two of us, have enough to make one yeah. blanket. Because I'll get, I'll get carried away, do you? I was thinking, oh, I could make one for Grandy because she was like, it was like something she'd never seen before. It is absolutely stunning blanket. She um, was probably like us when we first saw it for the first time. I'm so excited to see Jenny Crow at um, Yarndale in September and show her a picture. I go, look, I finished the man mystical <laughs> lanterns. And she'd be like, thank the Lord for that. You've seen me every year for a um, long time. Cool. Yeah. Um, but then I'll say to her, I guess what else I finished? Started and finished. Um, oh, that fuchsia is... Oh, fuchsia's 50 grams. Mm. And fondant is 51 grams. Mm. So we would, in theory, in, in theory, we would have enough to make another blanket the mm. same between us. We'd, yeah. have to, we'd have to... We'd um, have to... Buttermilk. Buttermilk. And I think out of my others, we probably would have... Um, pet, uh, storm Blue. Yeah. So we'd have to buy the buttermilk and we'd have to buy the storm blue so we could make a blanket between ourselves for Grandy for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah. that would be eight, wouldn't it? Yeah. I need to finish mine first before I even um, think about that. Right, okay. So I've... Right, storm blue, you only had two grams left. Pistachio, you had 38 grams left. Tomato, you had 50 grams left. Spice, you had 46 grams left. Violet, you had 67 grams left. 
duck egg blue, you had 51 grams left. Mustard, you had 27 grams left. So that's used quite a lot. Yeah. Sage is 39 grams. Fondant is 50 grams. Vintage peach is 57 grams. And buttermilk was 17 grams. And that's the border along with the storm blue, isn't it? Yeah. And the fuchsia was 49 grams. So it'd be violet is the most or the least used. You've got sixty-seven. Yes, yes. So it'd be interesting to see when I finish my blanket. I've kept the same. Yeah. I suppose it will depend as well difference. how much of a tail you leave, like as well, won't it? I have tried to start to leave a smaller tail so that I can just wind it in. Yeah, I do. Sometimes work it you in. see people and they have massive. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think it needs to be that long as long as it's worked in. Yes, I'm a lot more confident with that. Do you want to see what I've made? Yeah. Um, so, did you say you brought your blanket with you? Yeah. So we could lay that out, could lay your blanket out, and I could lay one out next to it and give me <laughs> an idea. Because I've had somebody. So, so to... these ones you haven't blocked, you just blocked that? Or you blocked I thought I blocked that one. Because it's got it's got acrylic in, it's not really going to yeah, I didn't block, block us wall. I don't think so. I don't think because it's curved up. Like what? Is it's made any difference? No, I think because once you have it down, though, I think I would like I to. I think it's a blanket, and you're not going to lay it out flat when you're in, it's in use, really, are you? No, so, no. I think um, it does come together quite flat though when you. Yes. Crochet together. Yeah. Once really... you've got all the elements, because they structure it, because you have to think that each side is going to have something attached to it yeah whether it be the border or it be a triangle or a square or another octagon have you, and it flattens it out have you measured it so that the, to, to see if they're the size of the pattern states uh no no they, just, they were well. all the same i laid i stacked them yeah they did all together and stacked them and they were all the same size did you stack them um in as in the row, because that's how I'm going to do it. Because when, when I looked at the pattern, I was like, oh my word, I don't know whether I'm going to... It's just my quilting head, whether you would... I just stacked them in order, know. so number one down right. to... Okay, and I've got, these are the bits I've got these as well. Yeah. And I think one of these, I think I need two pieces, but one of them I think I did on a smaller hook by mistake. And that's something I've been conscious of since, because you, there's two different size hooks in the pattern. Yeah. That might be that one. That, I don't know. I'd have to look at the pattern. I found when I was joining um, that you can... Because I thought that I was going to join along yes. in rows yes. and then down, which is what I've done in other motif blankets. But then I found that if you um, join the two octagons, but you could start with this one, yeah. join along... And then join this square in. And right, so you, you're doing kind of three points at a time. Right, okay. I, I didn't re join those. I still did it along in a row, but I was trying to join as many points as possible so there was less ends. Right, okay. And did you... Uh, was there any waste, would you say, with with the um, buttermilk? No, I don't like think Like the, so. the border, yeah. You've got enough... You've got it left. Plenty, plenty. And that's three balls. Because I've spoken to Sasa Jenny Crows with French. <laughs> but like I have, when I've seen on different things, I've asked her about things like, how do you know when you start designing something how much yarn you're going to need? And so she said that she would just design it and then she will work out. She'd oh, roughly, she, she said, you're hoping to leave at least 10% of you know everything to allow for people's Tension. tension or whatever should you stay at tension and that's what you need to try to do but um she obviously that term tension there's, there's going to be a little bit yeah but, yeah there will be a difference you're not always going to get dead on on the 10 percent um but i thought it'd be an interesting exercise for the two of us to do that yeah Oh, it's beautiful. <clears throat> this reminds me so much like, you know, of quilting yeah. and the laying out and the preparation that you have to do. Oh, lovely. It really is beautiful. It's it a stunning it work is. of art.
Do you want to know it's girls bread last week? I took my basket of like yarn and my crochet hooks and my knitting and I, um, I just said to the girls, oh, would you like to see what I'm working on? Um, and my older girls, they were in absolute awe when I showed them <laughs> like my tiles. They are, I mean, so yeah, that's number one, isn't it? That green yes. edge. That's yes. Not... Oh my word. See, it went along. She's so clever, Jenny Crow, isn't she? Yeah. So clever. When you start making Design it, you can see. Yes. You. you can see how, yeah, how the thought, where does she get her ideas from? Like, how does she even start? Oh my word. I'm all right to lay mine out, what I've, yeah. what I've done so far. And. Yes, after seeing that post on Instagram, I'm not. Sh I think I'm going to. Even though hers was longer, she's obviously used up some bits, hadn't she? Yeah. Um, no, I think that like it looks really lovely having it longer. I suppose it's hard as well when you're designing a pattern because you have to be able to tell people how much yarn they're going to need and like. So that's like that. Yeah, somebody left me a comment saying I didn't realise how, how big it was going to be. I think this is, this is only very rough. But since I finished, since I finished my mystical lanterns, I'm like, oh my word, I can do anything. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but not only, I mean, I can read my work now, I've been able to read it for a while, but I can actually uh, work out to fudge something, and I think that's a certain skill. Yeah. I don't think you can fudge very much in this, though. It is very need to be very accurate yes, because I can of the, it in the sense of in if I would got too many or too little, like when I'm counting the stitches. Right, so completed this one. Did you find when you were working on this though that you thought, oh yeah, that's okay. I wouldn't really choose it like this one. And then when you put it all together, you're like, oh my word, it's lovely. Yeah, she's got a really good eye, hasn't she, for colour? Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know whether I've, I've... Is it that one to go there? Okay. Uh, that one. So yeah, the four corner triangles seem really small when yes. you do them. But yes. They oh, is, it, is that pistachio that's in that colour? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what to take that out. Okay. So I'm working along this um, second, with well, the first row that's got the squares on. Okay. So oh, so do you're that. doing it like in rows, like because I, I did all of the octagons, then all of the squares, and all of the triangles. I think I was going to do to do that because I just found is that the more you did it, the more it gets in the pattern gets in your head. You yes. have to keep stopping to look and yes. read the pattern. Yes. Um, I am going to... I've done the second row as well. Oh, let me just go and get that. I forgot. Yes, I've got that. Yeah, Jeanette, let me, Jeanette, let me um, take her one because she's, she's been really clever and worked out um, her own colourway, her own palette. Yeah, I saw that. I think if you're in a group and you see what everybody is doing, you can kind of get an idea of what it's supposed to like look like if you're on track. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good to share ideas. Oh my word, look. <laughs> You've done lots. Yes, I haven't done anything this week because I've been... I've just been... Yeah. Here, there and everywhere. I'm not like, trying not to put myself pressure on. Like, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. But I thought, yes. So I've just done that square. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to work and do segments. That's what Jenny Crow said. Like, to do that bit, which I think this yeah. is how I did the second yeah. row. That's so I, I did, did those. Two, like, two at a time. Yeah. So I did those, up, those three rows. And then I did those two. And then I did, I think there's two there, isn't there? And then I did the shells, because that seems to be quite a lot of work from there to there. Mm -hmm. But once you get up, it's really quick. Oh my word, it's so beautiful, Laura. Yeah, I'd be able to see if you turn it over that 
part of joining the like the um Oh that would be interesting. Would be really interesting. Oh my word, it's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Laura's making this jumper. What jumper is it? The, is it this one that she's holding up? The one with the orange, but I've just done or um, the one with the purple. Oh yes, this one. This one. She's doing this one, but she's doing orange for. Is it Michelangelo? I think so. That's his favorite. This is what Benjamin is. Look, look at all these patterns, though. Oh my word. So yeah, the really it's, the inset sleeves were big in the nineties, but very long as well. But you're having to do a smaller size. And you had to do that because the motif is from you only the do rib two rows to just rib. before the yeah from and the then rib it's to the neck. Literally at the neckline. Two, oh my word! Oh two my rows. Word. Look at look at this girl. Look at this photograph. That reminds me of your sister. Yeah. As yeah, I'm really she want had to get this. Haircut. Yeah, she did. It's the very nineties that she wants to um, get this jumper off really quickly. Oh my word! I don't understand why there's a rat in there. There's a rat, one one of the characters. But... Yeah, it's um, I mean it's the body. Oh right, I see. Oh okay. All right, and they were renowned for um, pizzas. So it's uh, one large pizza with cornflakes and grapefruit topping coming up. Oh my yeah. word, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I do remember. Yeah, all this. There she is, that little girl. But it's, the the pattern is difficult oh. in that it's. Um, I think pre the technology of, of charts that we have now in that it it's printed oh yes but it looks as if it's been drawn and so it doesn't quite fit in with the grid lines of the chart so some of the lines go over two squares and you have to guess which oh I can I see some I can interpretation see that. Yes. as to yes. how many stitches you're yes, doing yes I can see one. that so there's yeah because you can see so you would knit this and then you would go on and oops, put the embroidery on. This is Laura's work. She's amazing at. Um, is it Intarsia? Yeah, and this is what she. Where is the head? Not finished yet. I know, darling. It's Got to do all the ends. I know. So is this all Starcraft? Do you think? Um, I've got it written down somewhere okay. in another book. I can't remember. It's so, all acrylic. Yeah. Well, yeah. You want that because you want to be able to just put it in the washing machine. I just want to show you my memento blanket. Um, I did the April showers and I couldn't quite see it. It was supposed to... Um, yeah, I dad, saw on yeah, the video. Yeah, your dad thinks it's like um, the rain coming down yeah. and my mind doesn't work the same. This is supposed to be pansies. Yeah. So I've got that. So I've done the bottom. I mean, yeah. she. this is, it isn't... She's given you the outline and given you the idea, but she's just used scraps out of a basket, which I'm absolutely fine with. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just use Starcraft because I've got a lot of, you know, um, leftovers. But it's getting to the pansy flowers and the colours. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need to pop into black sheet walls. I mean, I've said that I try not to buy, like, too much, but then I'm thinking, oh, well, I could always use it. Um, I'm just wondering... If I pick that ball up, that violet, you know, yeah. perhaps so it's it looks bit... like that's one's what been used in the border, so you'd be yes. using. Yes, yeah, so I could use that, and then there's some colours coming up. I think that I could use. Um, I think it. I can choose whatever I want. I mean, I'm using this as a starting point. I'm looking at it now, upside down, and I'm just wondering if that colour should have been perhaps I should have used the cream. Yeah. The thing um, that I've not understood when you've shown it through is like that. Why? I, I'm thinking the lighting is bad and it makes it look a different do, colour to what it actually is. Do you think I should take those grey out? Do you think it, that's the, that those two grey, or do you think in general? Yeah, no, I've noticed it on on another couple, but I think I think a cream or a white. Okay. Blue. I think I'll, I think I'm going to start with these. And I'm going to um, use those because I've got the mustard, and I think if I use the raspberry, what's the, what? How do you pronounce that one? But boysenberry. Right. Okay. I don't know if I've got that. I really do like that color. Okay. Because I don't think pansies are very many colors, are they? No, they're like um, a shade of like mauve, starting off with a violet and working their way through. Yeah. Yellows. 
and um, white. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you put white in here, you wouldn't see it. Mm -hmm. Okay.